The Sony Xperia 1 Mark II comes with a 6.5 inch display that has a 4K resolution. It's a HDR OLED panel. However, the company has included a new feature that will allow for a 90Hz effect on the screen, but it doesn't seem to use an actual 90Hz panel. Sony's latest flagship phone features a 3.5mm headphone jack on the top edge. The design is glass on the front and back, both of which are protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6 technology. Inside the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, there is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset, which is one of the very best processors on the market. The phone comes with 8GB of RAM to keep it running. Storage-wise, you have got 256GB of space to play with here, and that's expandable with a microSD card. 5G is one of the big talking points of Xperia 1 Mark II, there is no 4G only variant of this phone. The camera is another idea Sony's put a spotlight on. The camera includes a 12 megapixel main sensor, a 12 megapixel telephoto one with 3x optical zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor, alongside a 3D time of flight sensor that will offer groundbreaking autofocus technology. It's using a technology that Sony developed for its alpha range of cameras, and the aim here is to give you the best shot through stronger autofocus. This technology can completely autofocus and auto expose your calculations at 60 frames per second, while the camera itself can take 20 shots in burst mode each second. But Sony claims it improves autofocus for low light conditions as well as in everyday shooting. The phone can also record video in 4K HDR at up to 60 FPS. Pictures are amazing with this camera with its stunning dynamic range and color accuracy. On the front of the phone, there is an 8 megapixel selfie camera and Sony announced they have made significant improvements for front facing shots. Sony has also made some big improvements to the battery on this device by increasing it to 4000mAh on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, up from 3330mAh on the Xperia 1. Twenty twenty has been a big year for Motorola already. First its own foldable phone, the Motorola Razr, and now we have the Motorola Edge Plus. The Edge Plus isn't just a rebranded Z series phone, it's a fresh start for the company's product line. This is a device pushed to the extremes and which can compete with the best such as Samsung Galaxy and Apple handsets. Motorola has furnished the Edge Plus with many elements from the leading flagships. The screen is carved over the sides like the waterfall display from the Samsung Galaxy S20 and Samsung Galaxy Note 10 lines of phones. It doesn't have an IP water and dust resistance rating, but Motorola claims its design is water repellent. And of course, it contains one of the rarest of features on a flagship phone, a 3.5mm headphone jack. The display is 6.7 inch full HD plus OLED panel, its large, sharp and the endless edge sides are very attractive. The display's 21 by 9 aspect ratio makes this phone feel narrow, meaning some people may find it awkward to use one-handed. Like many other flagship phones in 2020, you can set the Edge Plus to light up its sides when receiving notification. Another great feature is the 90Hz refresh rate, meaning smooth video and gameplay. The phone's specs are top tier, from its Snapdragon 865 chipset to the 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. The Motorola Edge Plus packs a traditional quad rear camera setup. The star of the show is the 108 megapixel main shooter, which can use pixel binning tech that reduces the megapixel count while effectively expanding the size of each pixel to let in more light. The phone also has an 8 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom and a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera, as well as a time of flight depth sensor to enable bokeh effect in portrait shots. The main shooter can also capture video in 6K UHD. Pictures taken with this device looks great with rich color and great dynamic range. On the front there is a 25 megapixel camera for selfies which delivers great picture quality. The H Plus is also 5G capable. It packs a 5000mAh battery and Motorola claims it will last for up to 2 days. Sadly the H Plus maxes out at 18W charging which has been the case with the previous Motorola phones. It also supports 15W fast wireless charging and 5W reverse wireless charging. Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G smartphone was launched on 7th August 2019. The phone comes with a dynamic AMOLED 6.8 inch touchscreen display with an aspect ratio of 19 by 9. It is powered by a 1.9 GHz octa core Samsung Exynos 9825 processor that features 4 cores clocked at 1.9 GHz, 2 cores clocked at 2.4 GHz, and 2 cores clocked at 2.7 GHz. It comes with 12 GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G on the rear packs quad camera setup consisting of a 12 megapixel primary camera with an 1.5 to 2.4 aperture, a second 16 megapixel ultra wide lens 
with an 2.2 aperture, a third 12 megapixel telephoto lens with an 2.1 aperture, and a fourth time of flight 3D VGA camera. The rear camera setup has face detection autofocus. There is a 10 megapixel camera on the front for selfies with an 2.2 aperture. The front camera also features autofocus. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G runs one UI based on Android 9 Pie and packs 512 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded via micro SD card up to 1 terabyte. It's a dual SIM smartphone that accepts nano SIM and nano SIM cards. This device is powered by a 4300 mAh battery with 45 watt fast charging support. It also supports 15 watt fast wireless charging. This smartphone also supports face unlock. It was launched in Aura Black, Aura Glow and Aura White colors. iPhone 11 Pro Max smartphone was launched in September 2019. The phone comes with a 6.5 inch Super Retina XDR OLED touchscreen display with 83.7% screen to body ratio. It is powered by Apple A13 Bionic 7nm processor. It comes with 4GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the iPhone 11 Pro Max on the rear packs triple camera setup consisting of a 12 megapixel main shooter and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. There are two cameras on the front for selfies, one is a 12 megapixel camera and another time of flight 3D camera. This device is based on iOS 13 and packs 512 GB of inbuilt storage. It is powered by 3969 mAh battery with 18 watt fast charging support. It was launched in space grey, silver, gold and midnight green colors. The Galaxy S20 Ultra is Samsung's biggest Android phone and it lives up to its name. It is the first Samsung phone with a 120Hz display. Samsung's 6.9-inch display will push the boundaries of your finger's reach but it won't feel much bigger than the S10+. Plus. It's just that the Galaxy S20 Ultra is noticeably taller, not wider, expanding to a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is made of glass and aluminium and it is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6. The specs of this smartphone rival the likes of laptops, meaning it's more than you will ever need. The internal specs are all top of the line, a 7 nanometer chipset, Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 in the US or Samsung's Exynos 990 in the UK and Europe, 16 GB of RAM, 512 GB of internal storage and a micro SD card slot for expandable storage. The S20 Ultra has a 108 megapixel 1.8 aperture main camera, a 48 megapixel 3.5 aperture telephoto camera and a 12 megapixel 2.2 aperture ultra wide camera. There's also a time of flight depth camera on the back aiding portrait photos and 3D scans and a 40 megapixel selfie camera on the front. It's Samsung's biggest camera sensor upgrade since the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. The main 108 megapixel camera delivers great quality pictures with stunning details. The camera performed well in almost every light condition. The telephoto lens is capable of 10x lossless zoom and a crazy 100x space zoom. Pictures from the selfie camera delivers great dynamic range and quality. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra camera introduces 8K resolution video recording and steady stabilization. 8K is going to allow you to crop and edit video without sacrificing quality, while the 4K will give you more frame rate and zoom options. Samsung super fast charging returns on the S20 Ultra up to 45W with an optional charger and 25W with the charger included in the box. It also supports 15W fast wireless charging. Samsung equipped this phone with a massive 5000mAh battery which is the biggest in a Galaxy S series device. Samsung Galaxy S20 has a lot of potential. Samsung promised something amazing will happen in 2020 and here it is.